Welcome to another episode for our cookie series. Today we're gonna make snickerdoodles. Do you know what snickerdoodles are, Jules? Yeah. What? They're kind of like coconut cookies. But what do they have on them? I don't know. Cinnamon and sugar. You wrap it or you like roll the dough in cinnamon and sugar. Oh, that's so good. And they're so soft. You remember guys, I'm a fan of big, fluffy, soft cookies. I hate the flat, crunchy ones. And these cookies are perfect because they're so soft and so chewy. And we have a little secret to making these too. First of all, we're gonna start making them. We need one cup of butter, so that is two cubes of butter. Do you wanna open one and I'll open one? Make this go a little faster. Oh, and you wanna turn your oven on to 350 degrees. Ours is already on. So with our butter, we wanna make sure that it's softened. And so this butter has been sitting out since yesterday, actually. So it's really soft and it's gonna mix up really well. So you never wanna melt your butter and you don't wanna have cold butter. So you have one cup of butter and now we're gonna add a two cups of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Kinda looks like frosting. Okay, just like most cookie recipes, we do the butter and the sugar and we cream them together and then we add, you know, eggs. Okay, Jules, crack three eggs. Teach us how to do it. Three eggs. So we have three eggs, now we're gonna mix it. Good job on cracking them. Yum, that looks nice and creamy. <laughs> but do you think this would taste very good? No. Eggs, butter, and sugar. That's all it is. You wanna try? No. Don't eat this because it's raw egg. Now we are going to add one cup of sour cream. That's gross. I know it sounds really weird, but some of the best cookie recipes and cake recipes have sour cream. The sour cream just makes it nice and moist. So we need one full cup of sour cream. Now we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla. And we're gonna mix it again. Whoa. Now we're gonna um, measure our dry ingredients, but we're just gonna throw it all in here at once. So we need five cups of flour. Five? Five, can you do that? Sure. But you don't wanna, see this has kind of been sitting for a while, so you wanna fluff it up a little bit. So you can do the spoon in, the flour to measure it. I just sometimes like to fluff it up. Yeah, so I'm gonna fluff it up, cut it, and scrape it. So it's perfect. One, don't lose count. So we have five cups of flour. We're gonna do one teaspoon of baking powder. Remember, I really like this clobber girl stuff because it's got that thing right there so you can just scrape it on the side, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, just like using a knife. We're gonna do a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, you wanna put it in? Sure. Okay, and a teaspoon of salt. Good. And then we're just gonna give it a little mix in there. See how there's clumps of baking powder and soda and salt? Whoa, I don't wanna get this okay. dirty. It's okay, it's going in a dishwasher. Right Probably, now. okay. Just a little mix, that's good. And then a trick that I learned from my sister-in-law is to put a little bit of cinnamon inside the mix too. It just gives it a little extra boost of flavor. So we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of cinnamon inside the batter. Yum. What does it do? Just it just adds more cinnamon inside of the cookie instead of just on the outside of the cookie. Okay. It kind of looks like it kind of looks like honey butter. Oh, it does. It totally looks like honey butter. Yeah. So now we can take this out. That was a huge goal. Mm, we want to get all the cookie that we can. So we wanna clean off our beaters, right? Jules is like, I just wanna eat it. <laughs> Aren't you, Jules? Kind of. I know kind what of, you're thinking. Kind of. 
So the real trick to these snickerdoodles is that you have this cinnamon and sugar mixture that you're gonna roll your cookie ball in. You want about three tablespoons of sugar. Two, three. You know what? We need like six tablespoons. Five. Six tablespoons of sugar and we will do two teaspoons of cinnamon. We like it cinnamony. One. We're running low on cinnamon. And you give it a little mix. Looks like chocolate. Like chocolate powder? Yeah. It's like hot chocolate powder. No, like, yeah, yeah, I like to make hot chocolate. Okay. Excellent. Now we have, um, I really like big cookies. Who doesn't, right? I mean, you can use whatever size that you want. This is a number 20 or a two tablespoon scooper. Do you see how soft this dough is? Okay. So we're gonna get them. We're gonna roll them in a ball and we're gonna stick it in here. We're gonna roll it in the cinnamon and sugar. Should I, can I do the ball part or can you I do can, this? What part do you wanna do? I don't care. We can switch. Another thing that you can do with these cookie balls is you can stack them in here and freeze them and save them to bake another time. I really, this looks like it's gonna make a lot of cookies and we don't usually need to make a ton of cookies because half the time they just go bad. So we can freeze them and then sometimes when we just want a little snack or a little treat, we can just cook up a few of them later on and they taste perfectly fresh and delicious. Okay, so we have a pan full and we're gonna put these in the oven at 350 degrees and cook it for 15 minutes. If you're making these a little bit smaller, maybe check after about 12 minutes, but since these are big, they're gonna need the full 15 minutes, maybe even a little bit longer. The timer just beeped and our cookies are done. Look at how nice and gooey these are. Those don't look not good. gooey, but they're like soft and poofy. They're not flat, right? So we're just gonna let these cool and then we're gonna eat them. And we stacked these on a sheet pan so that we can freeze these. We're gonna put a lid on them, stick them in the freezer, and then once they're frozen, we're gonna just pick them all up and put them in a bag and we can bake them at 325 degrees for about 18 minutes each when they're frozen. And then that's like you're having a fresh baked cookie every day without having to make the big mess and do all the work. Can you say hi? Can you say cheese? Cheese! <laughs> say thanks for watching another episode of Half Pint Cooking. I really hope you guys enjoy this cookie series that we're doing and that you make these cookies. Give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. We need three eggs, so we are going to crack them. Oh! <gasps> I just made two eggs fall on the floor. Hopefully I don't step in it. If it's dirty, put it in the sink. Oh, I just stepped in the egg. Well, we buy the special Chef Sammy 